Hey and welcome to States Unlocked, the place to learn about social psychology, human behaviour and learn practical tips on how you can improve your life. If you want to unlock higher states of consciousness and understand yourself and others better, be sure to subscribe. And also please hit the bell notification. So here are some practical things you can do to improve your life. So this video is all about how to protect and save your energy. Now I want to be completely transparent about this. I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome in 2015, which is a mysterious illness in which people suffer fatigue, brain fog, and a lot of miscellaneous symptoms. So there is no one established cause for the illness, but just through insights that I have gleaned from my own experiences and from seeing others who also have the illness, there are a lot of draining behaviours that can certainly play a huge role in exasperating the illness, if not being a key reason for the onset in the first place. So I want to be clear, just as an aside, that you know while this video isn't about chronic fatigue syndrome, like many somatoform disorders, chronic fatigue syndrome is a physical condition, but that can have some psychological components. So the reason I'm sharing my experience is because, you know, I want to be clear that I don't see myself as an expert on how to live a Zen life by any means. I, of course, like most of us, feel happiness, sadness, frustration, joy, anger, and everything in between. But I am beginning to understand how I previously wasted my own energy, how I'm actively saving it, how I in turn feel happier, and how you can do these things too. So a few months ago, I listened to a podcast by Naval, all about happiness. If you haven't heard his stuff, I'd recommend giving him a listen. You can listen on Spotify or wherever. But it's essentially, like he says, a lot of people overcomplicate the process of being happy, and that really a huge step in becoming happy is merely deciding to be. Something about this podcast just really stuck with me and I decided to test it out with the focus being I want to be happy. I really caused it caused me to question certain behaviors and mindsets which were making me unhappy. For example, I have had difficulties in the past letting certain things go and I felt the need to protest if I didn't like someone's behavior or if someone was hurting me. I felt the need to set them straight and put it right. However, these behaviours were often fruitless and a complete waste of energy on my part, as the person I'd be talking to will have already shown me that they are not receptive to working through issues, they aren't going to listen, they're just going to leave me to feel more frustrated, but yet I would bang my head against a brick wall, trying to get them to change in order for me to feel happier. And this mindset was held in place by the belief that I needed to express my emotions, otherwise they would be repressed, which would cause me harm. In fact, this belief was quite pernicious and didn't allow me to let go of certain things. And as a result, it made me quite unhappy at times. So when you decide that the number one priority in your life is being happy and protecting your own energy, you start to engage with the world in a completely different way. The focus isn't on how can I change other people in order to be happy, but it's instead allows for much a much more honest view of things, which feels a lot more empowering. So the reason I'm making this video is because I know this is something a lot of people struggle with. You know, getting annoyed or angry at things and people, they just can't change. Oftentimes these behaviors can stem from a lack of acceptance of people being the way that they actually are, or we try to get our needs met from people who can't or won't meet them, and we get caught in this vicious cycle. So one helpful tip my friend recommended to me was to make two lists of people that I could speak to when I was having difficulties and another list of people I absolutely will not go to as they will not validate what I'm feeling, they won't help me, and they'll just leave me feeling hurt and frustrated. Now, while I sometimes got caught in old habits, I sometimes still get caught in old habits, the simple act of becoming aware of, you know, what I was doing was making the behavior more conscious and it had a profound influence on my sense of control over things and just helped me to get my needs met and to stop falling into the same trap over and over and over again because I made it conscious. You know, I encourage you to analyze and ask yourself, where am I wasting my energy? What behaviors am I engaging in which make me feel unhappy? Which people am I engaging with that detract from my happiness? Like most things, in terms of doing work on yourself, it's all about becoming aware of your patterns of behavior because without the awareness, we really can't do much to change destructive habits in the first place. So lastly, just as a reminder, 
The process of letting things go and becoming happier is certainly not linear, nor is it an overnight process. And it's something I am continually working on. Additionally, feeling anger, feeling sadness, feeling any other emotions sometimes is normal. It's completely normal, it's completely healthy. So this isn't about constantly being happy, otherwise we failed, but more about having a more, consist more consistent feelings of well-being and happiness in general. When we make our main priority to protect our energy and to be happy, we really do engage with life in a very different way and we are able to let go of things far more easily as things that distress us simply don't fall in line with what we want, which is to be at peace and, you know, to be happy. So thanks so much for listening. I would actually love to hear your thoughts on this topic or any snags you've run into which have blocked your own sense of peace and happiness or anything you're still dealing with. If you could leave that below in the comments. Also, if you've got value from this video, please do like it and hit the bell so you're notified about when I post a new video. It would also be great if you shared it because I really want to grow the channel. Every new subscriber makes me feel really happy. So it would be great if you can help me with that goal. So thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side. Ciao for now.